getting this on so let's see how well it fits I still have to play around with the gears also the level of the uh, through this hole. is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> move, it, move it to first gear.
put it in park. Let's see if I can. Uh, See to put this uh, on my lap and take it out of the view, which I don't want to do. Push that in basically. in from this side but put this side onwards I'll have a line the that's lined up on the switch So now it goes in, I think. I'm gonna give it a go. It's coming out a bit too much, but <coughs> I think that's it. That has to be inside this notch, and this one has to come out the other side and stop it going back and forth. This one has to be straight, the plastic, and the rest basically is as it is. So my setting, now I think, oops, I'll go in there with it.
と。easy. Sticking there, I couldn't get it in there. Now, park, reverse, neutral, drive, down to third, down to second, all the way to first, second, third, fourth, drive, neutral. Now, that's assembled. <coughs> Final thing. See if this fits. Spring is on. Cover goes on nicely. Clicks on. It's got two clicks there. Skis on nice and flush. And that's how you basically. inspect the reverse switch for this uh, gear lever assembly <coughs> uh, my uh, vehicle is a Mercedes C180 or W202 in America and uh, now I'm gonna basically fit this into the car and uh, my first task will be <coughs> basically let's pick this up and take it to the car and <coughs> me, as it fits like this in my, my vehicle first job will be just place it into the hole for this put the clip on this one's kind of knackered the uh, rubber on the seal on there. So I'm going to basically put it in like this, feed the, the uh, linkage into there, and uh, basically put the clip on on the other side, and <coughs> then <coughs> these. I have the four bolts in the car, put one bolt in here, in here, the other one here, and another one here, and another one uh, here, four bolts, fairly long, about this long, and a couple of inches I think, screw it all down, uh, before screwing it down obviously connect up the uh, three <coughs> power supply plugs, and then <coughs> put it in place, feed in the screws, I mean the bolts, tighten the bolts. Obviously before I do that, uh, what I'll do, I'll, uh, uh, as soon as I've connected the wiring up, uh, best thing is to do is to check the reverse light then, uh, by just 
keys in the ignition and put it in reverse and see if the lights come on and if they do uh, that's done the trick basically and I'm basically should have the uh, <coughs> lights my reverse lights up and running <coughs> if everything I've done here uh, has worked out basically if so this is uh, now let's basically go <coughs> into the car and uh, fit this. Now I'm not going to film that. Uh, basically, I've just described here. I'm going to put this there, connect that up, and just a, a clip to the uh, basically the lever, uh, and basically put this down. Because if you take it out, uh, you know exactly how to put it back in as it is in this state, uh, fully assembled, and uh, it should be very straightforward. Apart from uh, the problem I had is basically this was my first time ever doing it and <coughs> obviously it takes time and basically that should um, that should do the trick with this but I'll uh, put this on obviously on YouTube and for you to enjoy please leave comments <coughs> thank you for watching